Hey, what's going on guys? Drone B here. And it's time. I finally have all the T6 unlocked, so I'm ready to do my guide for T6. So this is uh, this is suggestions, this is things that I've learned. Uh, everything, pretty much everything I've learned towards working from T5 to T6, I'm going to include in this video. So uh, starting off, the one thing that is unique about T6 compared to all the others so these level 6 troops, you can start doing the research earlier than Citadel. Uh, like for T3, you have to be Citadel 20. For T4, 30. T5, 40. But for uh, level 6 troops, you only have to be 47 to do the siege. 48 for warriors, 49 for mages, and 50 for cavalry. The catch, though, is you can't actually trade uh, train them until you get your training grounds up to level 50. So that, that, what that means is you can do the research, but there's no reason to do the research until your citadel's at 50 and your training grounds are at 50, because that's when you can actually produce them. So, uh, that, of course, that means all buildings are going to have to get this, the level 49, and then you're going to need your farm at 50 to get your uh, training grounds to 50. So, so you have... Uh, well, really, you'll end up with four buildings at 50. You'll have the Citadel, the Training Grounds, the University for the Cavalry Research, and then the Farm in order to get the Training Grounds to 50. So, yeah, guys. So that means you're going to need tons of Exalted Scrolls. Uh, oh, well, yeah, Exalted Scrolls, but you also need tons and tons of Exalted Blueprints. So the Exalted Building Blueprints. Uh, and I want to say that I used somewhere around 500,000 from Citadel 45 to 50. It's somewhere around 500, give or take 100,000. Uh, you know, to be safe, if you have 700,000, you can do it for sure. That's worst case scenario. Uh, you know, I think I've used at least at least 400,000, at least 400. So probably more. Uh, it's tough to say because I'm always, you know, I'm doing it one building at a time. So and I don't screenshot it like I should, but it's hundreds of thousands. We'll, we'll say that. That's that's accurate. It's hundreds of thousands. Uh, and then the research tomes, it's anywhere from 500 to 700,000. And that depends on whether or not you have Ignis and what level your Ignis is at and how you have them skilled. So, uh, yeah, it's going to take at least 500,000 exalted research scrolls for T6. Uh, yeah, so what I would recommend doing... Get to Citadel 50, get to Training Grounds 50, and then do the research. So that's that's what I would do personally. Uh, that's what I did do. And as far as the research goes, the big ones, the big ones you're going to need um, these three at 10, which isn't too bad. Those aren't too bad, but the big ones are all of these. You have to get all these to 10 in order to, to do the research. And these start costing... Uh, well, th they start costing billions of gold each each upgrade, each research. So from 9 to 10, I think I averaged on these. Uh, it was like five to 10,000 gold each one of these. So a crazy amount, right? And what that the reason it costed so much is because T4 resources. So this brings me to the, the first suggestions, really, is it's going to be next to impossible. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that, but it's going to be really hard to get T6 troops without getting the T4 reductions. So there's a building reduction, and then there's a research reduction. One for the Oracle Temple. So you can, you can, uh, oh, that's T5. So Tier 4 construction costs. It, these are, this is a super expensive resource that you're going to need, and you're going to need it for Citadel 50. You're going to need it for all the research. All these are expensive guys real expensive so uh, I would definitely try to do these and the cool thing about these is you can unlock them if you have the Oracle dust and the you know the the mats the artifacts whatever you need for these it's not too bad uh, I would get the construction ones I would also get the research ones yeah I would definitely 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 do those the the tier 4 you can skip the T5 for now because the Platinum isn't so bad. Uh, you will need a ton of Exalted speedups, and you'll need some Platinum to do the speedups if you run out, or to buy some Tier 5 resources, but 
Tier 5 is pretty cheap, guys, because that's when it resets. It goes from gold on Tier 4 to platinum on T5. And when it makes that jump, the platinum costs are really small for T5. So it's sort of like, like what T1 was. Well, it might be worse than what T1 was, but sort of like that, but for platinum. So it's really not too bad. The big one's the Tier 4. My goodness. Now, you can get Tier 4 resources. You can get them in Royal Chess. You can get them from events. You can get them from packs. Probably the primary way you're going to get it's from gold. So it's definitely it's going to save you a lot of gold if you get the, the Oracle Temple, both the building and the research. I would do both of them. They're both just crazy amounts, guys. To give you an estimate on how much gold I used, now, I will say this. There, oh, let me finish my point first. So there's these, the Oracle Temple buffs, and there's also ones that you can get in packs that's just... Just T4 building cost reduction and T4 research cost reduction. It, it, so there's two different uh, two different packs for that. One's the Oracle. The other is like the profile bu uh, buff. So I can try to show you guys one. I don't have the T4 profile buffs. I really should because it would have saved me so much gold. I would have had T6 a long, long time ago. But, but it'll look like these, right? Like you'll get... Um, Let's see. It'll look like this. 50% off tier 2 resource cost reduction. It'll look just like that. It's a universal, so it'll apply to all T2. The T3 one applies to all T3. The, the T4 one applies to all T4, but it's the T4 one that you want for this. It's going to be impossible. It's going to be so hard to do without those guys. Uh, so yeah, I used hundreds of billions of gold. Hundreds of billions of gold to get from Citadel 48 to 50 and then finish the research off so hundreds of billions uh, luckily the packs are coming with more and more so you know if you're if you wait long enough it won't be too bad um, so you know the case the reason now here's why I didn't get the the I, I did get the Oracle buffs but why I didn't get the t4 50% uh, off T4 Universal Packs is because I couldn't find them. Uh, I saw them right when I hit Citadel 45, and then they stopped showing me that pack. So I've been waiting for that pack for a couple months, for like two months now. It never showed up. So, uh, you know, eventually you just got to move on, right? You can't wait for the same pack forever. Maybe I should have waited, but I, I wasn't seeing it, guys. I just wasn't seeing it. So I had to skip that one. So I would definitely get the T4 reductions. Another thing I would do that I think is, now this one everyone should do because it's simple. Like anybody can do this, but uh, there are economic, I mean, I would go ahead and max this one out. Go ahead and max this one out. Uh, you know, that's a good one. Yeah, max that one out. Let's see, but the big ones, guys, research cost efficiency. I would certainly get this thing to 11 because that'll save you 16%. So that's a lot of gold you're going to save. Like, you figure this 16%, maxing this one out, probably saved me 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 billion gold, at least. <laughs> it's, no joke, guys. No joke. Uh, I would max this one out to 8 also. So this uh, that'll save you 12% on the construction. So do that. Do that now. Don't don't wait for those. It's pretty cheap to upgrade these. So I would go ahead and do that. Do it all this that you have to do to get those two. Uh, you know, maybe you want to go ahead and get this one to one. It'll save you a little bit of, of platinum or, uh, you know, uh, exalted speed ups. So definitely, so here we go, guys. Economic section. Uh, do that no matter what. If you can, I would highly, highly, highly recommend the T4 reduction packs. So get, get, them, get them both. You should be able to find one that comes with the research and the building in the same pack. And that's the pack you want. So get... So it'll be two different packs if you get one with the research and building for T4 and then the other Oracle Temple ones. So highly, highly, highly recommend doing that. Uh, the next thing, guys, is if you have a high level Ignis, it's going to help you out so much. For It's going to help you out so much. So what reason this will help you out is you got the cost efficiency, 30% at, uh, at my Ignis level. And... And as you guys know, there's a conspiracy. I can't get Ignis XP. Uh, they just they just don't show me Ignis XP. They just show me the medals. So it's a conspiracy. But hopefully you guys can level up your Ignis. <laughs> because that one helps. And then the research speed will help a ton. 
uh, you know, that'll help you out. It helps me out 30%. So that's quite a bit. Uh, and then you also have this one. And I mentioned it's going to be like 500,000 research tome, uh, you know, the exalted research tomes. It's going to be somewhere between 500 and 700. And that depends on how much reduction you get from this skill on Ignis. So this will reduce the cost of the research tomes uh, 5% for me, which is kind of small. I don't have it very high, just level 6. So uh, Ignis is going to help you out a ton. Um, what else, guys? So, uh, and now you can get exalted. So how you get the speed ups and the scrolls, the best way, guys, is hitting the realm boss. Uh, every once in a while, a realm boss will pop up, and it's the Iron Giant realm boss. Uh, focus on that one. Try to go ahead and every time it comes up, just hit it and hit it and hit it until you get at least 500k building blueprints and scrolls. Because once you hit that number, at least you'll be able to get close, if not all the way. So I would keep going, I'd even keep going past that if you want, just to build up some reserves in case. Because you're going to need them also to get all your buildings up to 50 from 49 uh, to get past T6. So I would go ahead and just stock up on the scrolls. Uh, anytime that realm boss comes up, you can get them also in the exalted chests. Uh, so you get the exalted chest for pretty much all the events, like this Splits RVR event will come with it. Uh, and a real, real quick trick for this, guys. Uh, now, if you notice, for me, I need 16 million points for this. And you get points for trading, uh, training even Tier 1 and Tier 2. So if you don't want to use your gold to hit, hit the numbers in the event, what I would do is I would just train T1 or T2 and just... Train, so you only need the stone, the food, the energy, and the, and the gill for that. Train, and then speed up. Hopefully you have a lot of speed ups, because it drops normal speed ups from the events. And so you've probably been stocking them up for a while, and you haven't even, you know, maybe you've noticed, but, but they're there, guys. So that's what I do, is I just train a ton of T2, hit the event, and it saves tons of gold. It saves, you know, you know you're turning T1 and basic speed ups into chess. So that's good. That's going to help you out for... Uh, because you're going to need all kinds of stuff, guys. You're going to need... And it drops T5 also, which helps. But, uh, yeah, guys. So it gets really bad. It gets really bad trying to do that last stretch. Um, but once it's done, it's done, guys. <laughs> uh, it, you know, and I was... I was toying with the idea of... Waiting to do the T6... Now another thing I, I should mention here is you can do you can train the cavalry before any of the others, uh, but you're still going to need to get all these to ten. So, <laughs> and and these researches actually aren't too bad compared to some of these. Uh, the big ones, the city assault HP, city assault armor, and city assault attack. For some reason, those take tons more resources than the troop uh, troop ones. So be prepared each time you hit those. It's it's quite a fortune. But these three aren't as bad, and the rally attack isn't as bad. And even these aren't bad compared to these three. But uh, yeah, it's going to be, for me, even with the Oracle uh, reduction and Ignis, these were costing, some of these were costing 10 billion. Like from 9, you know, 9 to 10 was 10 billion, 10 billion, 10 billion, and probably 5 billion, 5 billion, 5 billion. So pretty costly, guys. Save up your gold, save up your T4. The earlier you get those T4 reductions, the more T4 you're going to save. It's going to save. It's going to pay dividends for you guys. But the other good news is T6 is really good compared to T5. Uh, it's quite a bit better. If we look at the stats here, I mean, yeah, T T6 is awesome, guys. <laughs> it's awesome. So uh, even the loads better. You're going to farm up everything better. Uh, you know, looking back, I lollygag. I got a lot of stuff that I didn't need. I should have focused specifically on getting T6 and then get some of the additional stuff. I should have got the T4 reduction pack instead of hero XPs and, you know, and I was buying gear packs. Now, once you have decent gear, so once you hit T5 and you have decent gear, I would just go straight from that to trying to get T6. I wouldn't focus too much on March size stuff or on... I mean, this this uh, 
Elemancy Hall might be nice if you want some element uh, elemental troops, but you know I wasted a lot. You know if you figure if that's if you invest a couple packs there, if you invest a pack into mercenary troops, if you invest a couple packs into you know I would just delay some of that and try to get try to get uh, the reductions first. Do what you can to get the reductions. Cause, oh man, I I would have had T six a while ago if I had those reductions. So. That's my 50 cents, guys. Reductions, Ignis, uh, economic research. If you're doing those things, that'll help a ton. The other thing when you're doing your building, I would equip Noctis. And the reason I would do that is because Noctis has, uh, he'll save you exalted speed ups. So uh, if you look over on the right side of his, his uh, skill tree, exalted construction. Uh, so you can you can level this one up and he'll save you'll save some exalted speed ups. So that's one thing you can do if you, uh, you know, I wouldn't do that unless you have some skill resets or something, or or I guess if you're just using your Noctis as kind of a multi-tool, maybe you'd want to put some points in that. It's really up to, you know, how you have your heroes, and if you have the Moogle market unlocked, you can get uh, hero skill resets. So if you have the Moogle market unlocked, I'd be more tempted on maxing that construction skill. But to be completely honest, I didn't ever run out of exalted speedups. Uh, I know some people did right when they were pushing early for this, but one thing I would recommend too is wait for the good realm boosts. If you're in the realm of super champions or, you know, just wait for the good boosts because even this one, 16%, that's probably more than your Noctis will give you. So if you save up, try to mass produce on those. The other thing is when you're building up your buildings, uh, give people time to, to guild help all the way because the guild helps are going to save you many, many days. Uh, you know, if you're letting, if you have 20 guild helps and you let people get to 20 before you speed up that building, that'll help a ton. Um, of course, then the other option too is we now have the Crystal Nexus. And uh, we've got, what is it, this one? Yeah, so there's this, this, core also, the Emerald core. So if you have this, uh, the, the Nexus, the Crystal Nexus, yeah, the Crystal Nexus, you could use this and that'll save you 50% also. So, uh, and there's a research one also, is it Tiger's Eye? It must be this one. So, you know, 50%, that's not, that'll help you out quite a bit too. So something to think about, I've noticed the Crystal Nexus has been included, it looks like it They've been including that with other stuff in some of the bundles. So, uh, you know, maybe maybe if you see a good bundle and that comes with it. I don't think I would, you know, I'm, I don't know what to think of this building, to be honest. Because uh, you got to get the cores. So in order to get the cores, you're going to need the Magitech converter. And you're going to need the mats. You know, so you're going to need tons of, um, I, well, you know, I've been able to farm up this many mats from the events. Uh, what is that? So enough to get three. Whoop. That's not the right one. Uh, so I've been able to farm up enough to get three and two research. So, you know, maybe that's all right. And if you get the building leveled up, you don't need the cores. You just need the, the building at, so level two nexus for, so level three nexus for the research and level four nexus for the, um, the building one. Now the Nexus, I was looking at, and it actually it wasn't as bad as I thought to upgrade it. So it's fifteen hundred for the first one. The second one was like six hundred. Um, fifteen hundred. They might have changed that to be honest. That or I got Crystal Nexus blueprint somehow. But yeah, so nine hundred for this level. So it's not. It does seem to. There is some um, variance to this. So that's kind of nice. But still, you know, you don't want to spend forever. <laughs> uh, you don't want to invest too much in this Nexus. I would not do that unless it's bundled into something. Because like I said, I have I didn't run out of Exalted Speedups. I didn't even have that building, and I didn't run out. Uh, but I did run out of T4 constantly. So it's T4, it's T4, and T4. So <laughs> get on that, guys. Uh, hopefully I didn't say so more than 100 times in this one. Uh, and I hope you guys are doing good. That is my guide to T6. If I left anything out, holler.
Uh, hopefully you guys are close. Hopefully you guys are doing good. And uh, get you get you guys some T6. I'm out of here. See ya.